State Action News Jack's getting real about black maternal health nationwide and on Capitol Hill lawmakers are discussing how to help black women survive pregnancy. Yeah, they say the U.S. has the highest maternal death rate of any developed country. Action News Jack's Kirsten Garris is breaking down the latest efforts to try to save lives. Hey, mommy. Hey, daddy. Charles Johnson says April 12, 2016 was supposed to be a joyous day for him and his wife, Kira the birth of their second son. But instead, he says it became a nightmare. The thought that my wife would not walk out to raise her boys, it never crossed my mind. Johnson says his wife died from internal bleeding after a C-section. Their story isn't unusual. CDC data reveals black women are three times more likely to die from a pregnancy-related complication than white women. It finds more than 80% of those deaths are also preventable. It should be a fundamental human right for a mother to give birth to a healthy baby in our country and live to raise that child. As we prepare for a full day. On Capitol Hill, lawmakers are meeting with advocates like Johnson for the Black Maternal Health Caucus Summit. To offer their feedback, their solutions, what's working, what's not working, where they need help, and to inform our work here in the Congress. Lawmakers are also exploring how to advance the Black Maternal Health Monibus Act. It's a series of bills aimed at improving pregnancy outcomes for black women. This includes diversifying the workforce that helps before and after birth. The data tells us that the maternal health outcomes are better for mom and baby when that provider understands what's going on with that family. Congresswoman Underwood reintroduced the legislation earlier this year. Johnson is now urging lawmakers from both parties to make it a priority stand up and say that enough is enough and it's time to protect mothers and babies. For coverage you can count on in Washington, D.C., I'm Kirsten Garris, Action News Jax.